what is going on everybody welcome back to my youtube channel today we are going to be installing the cali raised 40 inch light bar on my forerunner here we do have a prinzu roof rack on this car that we installed in a couple videos back so we are going to be installing this into right here we've got the cutout for the light bar on there that comes from Prinzu itself. Um, so here is the light bar all into this box. We've got all the hardware and stuff in here. So let's get to installing. All right, so we've got our 40 inch Cali Rays light bar up here on the Prinzu. As if you could come closer, they make the cutout for a little bit of a larger light bar up on here but we went ahead and went with the 40 i believe you can fit a 42 inch uh, but as we get ready make sure before you install make sure the wire is on the driver's side of the car because it's going to run down this entire strip right here um, so before we get it make sure the wire is going to be on this side all right so we're going to be taking a couple pieces of hardware here kind of looks like two half circles up here we're going to be sliding it into this t-bar that's behind the wind deflector here and make sure that these circles are pointing to the outside whenever we are putting them in here and it kind of just slides in to here as we can as we wiggle it up and down we can see that this actually slides through this bar like so we're going to put in two on both sides which is where the light bar is going to mount into all right, so now that we've got both of these put into this bar, I'm gonna slide that all the way down there. And then we're gonna put the mounts into these, which is what the light bar is going to connect into. So whenever you buy this light bar kit, uh, when I bought it off of Foreign Lifestyle, it comes with two brackets. You've got these taller ones that are meant for the actual Prinzu roof rack up here and then they send you two that fit the cali raised um, bracket a little bit better in the light the uh, roof rack a little bit better than the prinzu ones do if you install the prinzu ones there's going to be like an inch gap between the actual light bar and the roof rack and the wind deflector but if you use the cali raised brackets then it sits flush with no gap in between the actual light bar and the wind deflector so we're going to use these cali raised ones that way it sits nice and flush and there's no gap in between the light bar and the wind deflector all right so now that we've got these brackets we're going to be taking this bolt with this washer and we're going to be screwing them into this bracket and a important thing about this is make sure that this piece looking at the camera here is on this part of the driver's side so the vertical piece that's sticking up make sure that that is the closest to the inside of the car. But what we're gonna notice whenever you get to down here, you won't actually be able to screw it in because this wind deflector here is pressed on a little bit. So we're gonna have to unscrew this part of the wind deflector, that way it can loosen up and we can slide in the bracket underneath. And then once you do that, you can screw it back down afterwards. All right, so now that we've unscrewed these two bolts over here, we can see that we can actually lift up this wind bracket over here, this wind deflector, which allows us to slide in this bracket over here. So we're going to be screwing in again this part over here with the bolt washer and then putting it into this little piece that we put in earlier. We're gonna take this bolt with the washer and this mount exactly like we did onto that side over there and we're going to be putting it into this little half semicircle thing that we put in earlier so again we're going to take this and we're just going to screw it in by hand at the moment so we're going to leave it pretty loose and because we don't know exactly where the light bar is going to sit and where we need to put it in there we go Go this real quick, see what happens. All right, so you've got two different sizes of bolts. This one's a lot thicker than this one. 
it was really hard to record um, but we stick the same thing we did the bigger bolt with the washer into this top part of the mount which connects into the light bar up here now we're just going to be tightening it down and then once we tighten all this down we can adjust because we left this loose down here and we can adjust to see if this is centered into the roof rack up top all right so now that we've got it what i think is pretty much centered as close as it could be we're going to be tightening down the bottom part of the bracket now that we know that it is in the middle position. All right, so we just tightened down the driver's side. We just went ahead and screwed down all of the wind deflector bolts on this side because we think it is aligned pretty good. Um, so we're gonna switch over to the right side do the same exact thing over there and we'll keep you guys updated. All right, so we've got a whole lot of wires here. We've got our big relay, which will mount into the engine bay, which actually allows us to turn on the light bar. Um, through all of this, we've got our power and our ground cables. Um, we've got this right here, which is going to connect into our light bar up top. Then we've got the actual power switch um, which they also sent more of an OEM style one, which I'm probably gonna switch it instead of having this because it's just 3M taped on where you can put it in the engine or in the compartment area. But I want to really wanna switch it to this OEM style so it looks more like factory. All right, so we're going to take this connector piece right here. We're gonna snap it into our actual light bar right here. So you just heard the click, I believe that's it pushed all the way in, it is. And then we are going to be running this wire, kind of tucking it in to the side of this and run it down into the engine bay. If you leave it right here, it'll look really bad just because it's got this big bulky connector piece. We're actually going to be zip tying all of this excess up into here and then we'll just run this big long wire down this side right here. That way it looks a lot better. All right, so we've got all the excess wire up here. Now we're gonna take this pry tool. We're going to be fitting this wire right here and kind of just making it look flush all the way down here. When we get down to this part in the engine bay, I'll show you guys. We'll actually be taking off this cover and then still running the wires underneath, which eventually lead into the engine bay. But for now, we're going to be tucking all of this into here. So as you can see, we're kind of just prying with, again, this tool. We're just pushing down these wires into the side of this right here to make it look nice and flush with it so no wires really pop out at all. Some people use a flathead screwdriver, um, but that can damage the actual wire itself. Um, so we're just using this pry tool, um, which is safer for the car so I don't have to run into any issues with potentially chipping the paint at all. All right, so once we get down to this piece, we can see we've threaded it all the way up. Once we get down to this piece right here, since you can't keep putting it all the way down here, we're gonna pop up this piece right here. All right, so now that we've got, all right, so now that we've got the piece off, we're gonna do the same thing. We're still gonna be tucking all of this down under through here and once we get it all flushed all through here we're just going to put the piece back on top of it and make it blend right in all right so once you get all the wires into the engine bay you're just going to snap back the piece that we just took off it's looking really good so far all right guys so fast forward two weeks 
we've got the light bar, all right? So that's the last time that we were working on it. Um, so this is gonna be a little bit weird because we already did the video of installing this light bar. We got it all mounted up here, but I was really having some issues on choosing out how to wire this. And I thought, well, because I'm going to be doing a ton of wiring that I'm just going to install this Switch Pro system. Um, that way we can make things a little bit easier whenever we start adding on additional lights into here. So right now what we've done, we wired all of it down through here. And then we had a big mess. If you remember, we had this big relay, all these additional wires for the light bar, but we just cut that off. And now what we did here is with this Switch Pro system, we put our ground for, not our ground, our power for the light bar on this last switch here, ran ground to this bus bar. And let me show you guys inside. I know it's a little bit bad because I haven't gotten this mounted in yet, but if we turn it on and we push this button, we can see that this light bar does indeed work. So that is going to wrap up the installation of this 40 inch Cali raised light bar onto the Prenzu roof rack. It is a very clean setup um, and more lights are going to be coming. So if you guys liked the video, please drop a like and subscribe to my channel. I'll be uploading a lot more frequently. Again, I'm still on this huge light series that I've got planned out. So if you guys have any questions or comments on anything, please drop a comment and I'll answer the best to my ability. But that'll wrap up today's video. Thank you guys for watching.